They weren't serious and words don't equal actions. That's the main argument made by attorneys for several members of the so-called Wolverine Watchmen, accused of plots including the kidnapping of Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Grant Herms is back to show us how the prosecution responded to those arguments at today's hearing. Grant, good evening. Kimberly, good evening. And you just said it all after the defense wrapped up their version of the case today. The prosecutors attempted to pick apart their arguments that the members of that Wolverine Watchmen group weren't just, they were just a part of the training. They weren't really that close to the planning of that alleged plot to kidnap the governor. Much of what we heard in today's hearing focused on the run up to several protests in Lansing. After hours of groundwork laid by the defense hoping to show their clients were just training and not truly involved in an alleged plot despite posts online and recordings played by the court. On the stand, the FBI agent in charge of the investigation saying his informant inside the group explaining the training tactics. Things like breaching double doors like the ones at the state capitol, attacking so-called convoys like the ones used by the governor and ambush tactics. L-shaped ambushes are a specific technique to put your enemy in a position of fire that they can't escape and they can't survive from. The prosecutors also worked against the narrative that the Wolverine Watchmen were behaving as other similar groups. In my training experience with traditional militias or nonviolent militias, um, they don't have the type of specificity in their target as is being practiced by the Wolverine Watchmen. Thursday, just a preview of what's expected to come in later dates in court. And in a final statement today, that prosecutor went down the line to each of those three men who were in court today asking the FBI agent if they had all talked about kidnapping the governor individually. And to each one, he said yes. Kimberly. So, Grant, what happens now? Well, these were two days of just marathon hearings. The judge said today he didn't expect it actually to go as long as it did with that FBI agent. So we're going to come back tomorrow morning with yet another witness. And just a reminder here, this is just the preliminary hearings for these three men. So we haven't even gotten to the meat of this case yet. Right. A lot more to go. Yep. Okay, Grant, thanks.